presenting Pretty Lanisha channel here, Fashion Beauty. Hey lovely, so this is my Christmas dress from like two years ago and I never posted this video of me making it. So if you check my Instagram, I think it was like two years ago that I did this Christmas dress. But I'm now posting it because I actually remember that I have it. So let's begin and we're going to cut out our pieces for the dress. Now I make everything custom to my body so I use clothing to make my clothes. I don't really have any patterns. So I'm using this white tank top because it fits me really nicely and I put safety pins in where I want my off the shoulder to start and I'm using the most stretchiest part of the fabric and I am cutting on the fold. So I only fold it over my fabric once. Now I'm going to cut out this piece and once I get to the end of the t-shirt I'm going to use a midi dress to get the rest of the shape that I want for my midi dress. Because I only folded over the fabric once, you need to cut out another piece which would be your back and it's going to be the same as the front. Now we're going to get into the sleeves. The way I have this position is so weird and it was a learning curve for me so I really did not have to do this but it just helped me know that I was cutting out the sleeves properly. Basically the same way I laid out this midi dress in the sleeve and the way I'm folding it over is basically all you need to do to cut out your sleeve. You don't need your remaining fabric like I had to cut it out. You're just following this step right here. And then you cut out a second one. So you're basically just missing the whole top part of the sleeve. So it's kind of like a straight line and then you make the curve for your armpit. And you're practically done with the sleeve and then you're gonna sew down the sleeve. Now we're gonna get into this tricky part. Halfway through making a dress, I was like, I wanna spice it up. So I took one of my V-cut bodysuits and I basically folded my front piece of my dress in half so I could get that perfect V so both sides are even and then I'm gonna take extra scrap fabric and put it over my V cut right sides facing right sides and I'm going to pin it to my V cut and I'm sewing a straight stitch along the line of my V cut. So basically how you see me pinning it is how I'm going to sew it. Now that i finished showing it, I'm going to cut the remaining fabric around it and then I'm going to cut out the V shape from the scrap fabric that I had put on top of my original dress. Once that's done, I'm going to basically flip the scrap fabric inside of the dress and do a top stitch, as you're going to see later on in this video. Right now I'm just showing you how to cut out your pieces and then we're going to get into how much to sew it. So basically we're going to cut the band out to, that goes around our shoulders basically to finish up the dress and you know give it that hemline. So your band is going to be different. The length of your band is going to be different from mine. Mine is 38 inches and 3 inches wide. So you can make yours bigger or not and make sure you add seam allowance. And now we're going to assemble the dress. So right now I have my front placed down and I'm going to put my back on it, right sides to right sides, and I'm going to sew down the sides of the dress and I'm going to sew down the side of the sleeve. When you put the sleeve onto the dress, you're basically going to put right sides to right sides. Right sides to right sides and you're going to sew it. It's going to like form like a horseshoe shape or a U shape. So remember I told you we're going to basically hem the V cut shape and you're going to sew along the pendant line. So I'm just showing you on my sewing machine basically to give you a gist of what I'm doing. I hope it's a clear enough shot. But you're going to pivot around and you're going to show you're going to sew that V shape. Now once you're done, you're basically going to turn that piece inside. You're going to cut your little slips where the V is so you can get a nice V shape once you flip that scrap piece inside. 
and then you're gonna top stitch so you get what I was saying in the beginning you sew right size to right size you're gonna flip that scrap piece in and then you're gonna top stitch over that it's gonna give you a nice finish also if you want a cleaner finish you can sew closer to the edge of that v-shape but I didn't want that I like the look that I was going for so now we're gonna sew the band the hem or close off the top of our off-the-shoulder dress so I sewed a straight stitch I had folded the fabric right size to right size and I sewed a straight stitch down and I'm turning it inside out and basically I'm going to top stitch this band along my dress so there's actually like no right side to right side because the fabric is the same on both sides. So basically I'm just pinning it down how I want to onto the dress because I flipped it inside out. So I'm pinning it how I want to onto the dress and I'm going to top stitch that over. So once I top stitch that piece, you see how it was a v-neck. So now I kept the v-shape that I wanted. I didn't close it off, I kept the V shape that I wanted and I basically pinned around that V shape. And then in the back, once you finish sewing it, you're gonna close it off and that's how the back looks and the dress is done. You're gonna hem your sleeves and you're gonna hem the bottom of your dress. And you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. And I don't think I hemmed my sleeves. Oh yeah, I, no, I didn't hem my sleeves. So the fabric didn't, have to be hemmed at the sleeves but if you want to you can hem yours i think later on i hemmed my sleeves but you don't really have to anyways the dress is done i hope you like it please let me know how you feel about it in the comments below and let me know if you would like to see more tutorials the more sewing tutorials i do the better i will get at filming them they're really really hard to film like really but anyways merry christmas everybody happy holidays and see you in my next video later lovelies and i hope you enjoy the new year if i'm not back before then